what's up guys warlock here welcome back to the channel guys today i have another apex legends video for you and i'm going to teach you how to bunny hop in season seven let's do it if you're new here you want to learn how to improve your gameplay get better aim and other apex legends tips starting out by subscribing and clicking the bell so you guys don't miss out on anything all right guys welcome back so today i'm going to teach you how to bunny hop all right so as you all know, bunny hopping has been a big, huge part of Apex in the community and one of the best movements that we've ever seen as far as a battle royale or just a shooter in general. Many seasons ago, they nerfed it because it was too powerful. So I was thinking to myself the other day, like, I wonder if you can still bunny hop in some way. And it turns out you can. I'm going to teach you how to do it in this video. So for uh, first things first, guys, this is going to be for console players only. So for PlayStation 4, 5, and, you know, the Xbox, new Xbox uh, players. So, um... PC, you could do this probably with your crouch and, and space bar, so no worries to you. But console players, you can do this. So uh, the first thing that you guys got to do is go into your controller settings. Now, normally I have this on toggle. It's just much easier movement for me. But to bunny hop, you're going to have to have this on hold. It can't be on any other thing but hold. If you have it on toggle, then you're going to have a really hard time. I guess you could do it by timing it right, by hitting your buttons you know, at the precise time. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. So make sure it's on hold, okay? Now, if you don't have a scuff, I have Advantage 2 controller. Shout out to scuff. So I use my paddles on the back to do this. Now, if you don't have one, okay, you can go into your controller settings, go to your button layout, and do bumper jumper. You got your L1 as your bumper, and then you need to change your melee button to your crouch button, okay? So you need to change this or just go full on customize and change it to however you want. But if you have a scuff, a... You know astro controller anything like that you know that will be much easier for you guys to do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go we're gonna slide down and see how i stop sliding i stop sliding if i don't hold this okay so this is gonna be the difference right if i slide i stop if i'm not holding the button okay so what you want to do is when you go to slide you jump and you hold your slide button and then you want to time your hops with your jump button so what you're going to do is you're going to go, you're going to slide, you're going to jump, and you're just going to bunny hop. Okay? Let's do that one more time. Okay? Slide, we're going to jump, and we're going to bunny hop. You want to time the bumps, or the bumps, the jumps, right on point. So that way you get the most out of your hops, okay? If you hit items, hit a wall, anything like that, it is going to slow down your momentum. You're mainly going to want to do this to get around corners. You know, anything like that, right? So look, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. Okay. Now, a good way to practice this is to come down the hill Check out this area. and use the momentum from this just to get it down because then you get the maximum momentum coming down from a hill. So we're going to we're gonna slide, jump onto the platform, boom, boom, boom. And you want to time the jumps as best you can. And you can go pretty far with this, right? So bunny hopping is still a thing, guys, still a thing. Now, next thing that we're going to talk about is how to bunny hop while healing. All right, guys, so to bunny hop and heal is difficult, okay? This is the big reason why bunny hopping was nerfed in the first place because as you guys saw, you can go pretty far when you bunny hop, and if you're healing, it's going to be very difficult for enemies to get to you, you know, finish you off if you are super weak, or it allows you to get to cover very easily without losing a whole lot of momentum or speed. So they nerfed it, right? So here's the issue with bunny hopping. When we go into heal, I'm going to show you guys how to bunny hop and heal. But be warned, the first issue is that when you go to use a shield cell or, or a med kit or a syringe, anything like that, the animation from using that slows you down your entire momentum. So you're not going to be able to go as far or have as many hops as you would without using any heals. So before we could get, you know, like 15, 20 hops, depending on, you know, the momentum and speed that we have and then you can go pretty far so we're gonna come down again i got some red shield and i got some shield cell so we're gonna slide jump just like we were before guys you're gonna see what i'm talking about so we're gonna slide jump we're gonna hit the Bring hit the animation right so i get like two or three hops before the animation just really just slows me down altogether. we're gonna do it one more time hit Give it one sec. two three and shield. then i'm just completely slowed down one more time guys so you can get like two and a half bunny hops before the animation just completely slows you down. So what's the issue with this is that the animation from healing slows down your complete momentum and the entire purpose of bunny hopping. So now the question is, is do you bunny hop or do you slide jump instead, right? 
So if I slide jump to heal and, I, and I'm holding slide down, I can go much further, right? Slide jump, hit my heal. Okay. Now if we try to bunny hop again, you just don't go as far. So slide jumping and holding the slide after you hit the heel is probably much faster and when you go much farther, you can get around that corner. So if I'm coming here and I'm being chased, hit it, sl slide around, reach. then I can continue running, right? Now the other way that you can do this is you can do jump sliding instead of, instead of slide jumping and try to do it, but it's the same thing, guys. The momentum just completely kills you. So slide jump, hit the animation, and it just almost completely stops me. Now, the last way that you can do it is you can slide, hit the animation, and then jump. So slide, hit the animation, Recharging shields. and then it still stops you. It still completely stops you guys. So that is the one negative about bunny hopping is that you're not able to heal as efficiently as you once were. But bunny hopping is still a thing in Apex Legends. I still think it's pretty cool that you can come down, slide, and hit some bunny hops to kind of like get around something or get around you know a building or you know get somewhere relatively quick without losing a whole lot of speed so this is going to be more meant for almost like an advanced movement guide to help you with another different movement but it's not the full-on original bunny hop that we're used to having in apex legends all right guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope that this tutorial to teach you how to bunny hop really helped you out guys if you did enjoy it make sure to hit that like button as it does help me out with the youtube algorithm and if you're new here hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you don't miss out on more tutorial videos like this and as for me warlug stay gaming guys and i'll catch you in the next one peace